Good morning, you guys. I just woke up, as you can hear, on my dark and raspy morning voice. But today I have quite a chilled out um, work and study from home type of day. So I thought I was gonna film a what I eat in a day. I really love these type of videos and I really hope you guys will love watching me making one too. So let's start off with breakfast. Let's go. All right, so for breakfast, I think I'll be having some scrambled eggs uh, with some halal bacon. I'm so happy that I found the brand that sells halal bacon here in Sweden. I like my breakfast to be very like steady and fill me up. So I love having eggs in the morning with some avocado, toast maybe. And then I also love making smoothie bowls. And today I just have raspberries and a very ripe banana. So this is a perfect way to just throw that in the smoothie bowl to make it a little bit sweeter. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yes. smoothie and if you're wondering why I put my smoothie in this it's because I broke my smoothie machine so I'm gonna use one of these to make my smoothie so in here I have my uh, ripe banana and then I'm gonna put in my raspberries about that much and then oh I wish I had some spinach I love to put spinach into my smoothies as well. Uh, doesn't really taste much, but it adds a lot of nutrition. And then just a splash of oat milk. And then mix. Lastly, I like to add in some chia seeds filled with a lot of omega-3 fiber. Yeah, about that much. And then I just mix it. And this will also make the smoothie a little bit more thicker because the seeds will expand as they like soak up the, uh, the water or the fluid. Et voilà snack time and I'm more of a savory snack type of girl so I'm gonna make a super easy hummus and vegetable dip type of snack and uh, by no means is this the <laughs> authentic hummus recipe uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make mine I can't find the lid to my food processor so I'm just gonna 
mix everything in a bowl together the same way I did my smoothie this morning so I have the rinsed chickpeas here and then I'm gonna use a lot of olive oil Then I'm also gonna add in some tahini, uh, which is uh, grounded sesame seeds, sesame seed paste, which looks like that. This is quite crucial into making a good hummus. Uh, is that in maybe two? Hummus. And then uh, some people like to add in lemon juice. I actually love adding in my Moroccan vinegar, um, it tastes really good, so I'm going to add in that. Generous amount of salt. I love cilantro uh, or coriander, whatever you call it, so allow me, I'm going to add it in my hummus. I'm also going to add in some garlic powder and some paprika I know this is not the best way of mixing but this is all I have right now and I can't bother to find the lid of my food processor so let's just gonna start mixing okay this kind of looks like guacamole but it's not I promise uh, so now is when you want to do a taste test so I'm gonna try um, more vinegar Guys, if you have not, if you're Moroccan or if you ha can't get your hands on this, you need to try putting it in your hummus. So good. Okay, taste test. Mmm. Perfect. I uh, just got ready and I'm just gonna run out to run some few errands uh, but before I do that I'm gonna eat some lunch and I have some leftovers so I don't have to cook hey so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch it's a sweet potato and peanut butter stew it sounds really weird and it's actually my friend's recipe, but she was like, you have to try it. And I did. I did my own little spin of her recipe and it turned out really good. I'm gonna link her recipe down below if you guys wanna try it. So I'm gonna heat it up and eat it. Also, before I leave, I'm gonna bring a fruit and nut bar to eat if I feel hungry. I uh, told you guys, I'm the biggest snacker. So, bye! Hey you guys, I came home not too long ago and I've been just sitting replying quickly to some emails and it's around dinner time right now so I'm not that hungry but I'm still gonna eat something so I think I'm gonna make like um, a sweet potato carrot soup because I have <laughs> some sweet potatoes left over and it's a pretty fast recipe so I'm gonna do that it takes me like 30 minutes to make maximum so let's go into the kitchen and make it so these are the ingredients. I have some sweet potato, carrots, some onions, coconut milk, and uh, vegetable stock. And yeah, let's just chop everything up and I will be adding a few more spices, but I'm gonna tell you guys that in the process.
as you saw, I put in some garlic and ginger paste, but uh, I actually forgot to put that in because uh, that was supposed to go in together with the onion, but I hope it still tastes good. So yeah, let's just garnish it. I like to put some extra olive oil in mine. And dinner is served. A light supper for today.